you need an ambulance, a minute or two can mean the difference between right. life or death. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Action News Investigates has learned that some people in our area have to wait as long as a half an hour, 30 minutes for an ambulance. Mm -hmm. Investigative reporter Paul Van Osdal is here now with this investigation. Paul. That's right. We found the average wait for an ambulance running lights and sirens can range from five minutes to 30 minutes, depending on where you live. But we also learned that the initial response time does not always tell the full story. That was a painful lesson for the family of James Jessup. And he went to get up and he fell on the floor. I couldn't catch him. Clarice Coons did not realize it at the time, but she says her friend Jim Jessup was having a stroke. It was just after 2 in the morning on April 20th when she called 911 from Jessup's home in Jeanette. Action News Investigates obtained a recording of the dispatch center's response. 48 year old male fell, not alert, abnormal breathing. Westmoreland 911 called out Jeanette EMS, station 206. It was 2.17 a.m. when they responded. County 206 acknowledges EMT only. That's Jeanette EMS saying they could send only one emergency medical technician, which they did, and she was at Jessup's house within 10 minutes of being dispatched. But state law requires two people to transport a patient, so Jeanette's EMT asked for help. But she did not request help from nearby ambulance companies in places like Penn Township, Irwin, or Adamsburg. She sees 952 is available, please. 952 is the medic station at Forbes Hospital in Monroeville, 11 miles from Jessup's home in Jeanette. Allegheny County was notified for medic 952. They do not know if he's available. Four minutes later, the Forbes Hospital paramedic says he is available and on his way. I'll be in route to Jeanette. Uh, got about a 25 minute ETA. 911 records show it was 2.37 when he arrived in Jeanette, 21 minutes after the initial call. By this time, Jessup's friend Clarice was worried. He was sweating really bad. He had a towel on his face. Did it seem like a long time or to wait for someone else to show up? It, to me, it seemed like a long time. Records show the ambulance did not leave Jessup's home until 3.06, 49 minutes after Jeanette's EMS responded to the call. It took another 30 minutes to get to Forbes Hospital, but by that time, it was too late for Jim Jessup. He died at the hospital the next day. <laughs> Coons wonders if a quicker response would have made a difference. Maybe they could have helped him sooner. Maybe it wouldn't have happened. I don't know. The trauma chief at Allegheny General Hospital did not treat Jessup, but he does know when ambulances are running lights and sirens, every minute is critical. How much difference can literally a couple of minutes make? It can be enormous. Uh, it really can. Uh, and that can may literally be the difference between life and death. I asked the operations director at Jeanette EMS why only one EMT went to Jessup's house that night. We had additional people staffed and we had extending waiting circumstances. The individual had to go home at that time uh, prior to, to this call coming in. Why didn't you call someone in from closer? Why did you have to call a paramedic all the way from Forbes Hospital in Monroeville? Why not someone from Penn Township, Greensburg? I, I wasn't closer? here at that time, so I can't give you an answer for that. Okay. Thank you. That answer is not good enough for Jessup's daughter. That's absurd. They need, if they're going <clears> to <throat> be the ones to provide care for someone in a dire situation, they need to make sure that they have the right staff and, and whatever they need to help those people. I asked the man who oversees EMS in Pennsylvania about the Jeanette incident. Certainly it sounds like a potential system failure, but without looking at all the facts, I really don't know. The hardest thing is like not being able to call him anymore. Jessup's daughter Kayla hopes EMS authorities can learn from the death of her father at just 48 years old. I'd like to see them respond faster. If it's going to help save someone else, then it needs to be done. Coming up at 6, how quickly do ambulances respond in your neighborhood? We break down the average response time for every community in the region, including why one town has a 14 minute wait and another has a response time twice that number. Paul Van Osdahl, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.